Hey guys, do check lifestyle here. Back with another video. This one's profiting from war. Who profits from war? So let me play your next set. War profiteers are people or organizations who make excessive profits from war, often by selling weapons or other goods to the warring parties. The term is typically used in a negative way to condemn those who are seen to be exploiting the suffering of others to make money. There are many examples of war profiteering throughout history. One infamous example is the shoddy millionaires of the American Civil War who sold substandard goods to the Union Army, including uniforms made from recycled wool and shoes made from cardboard. In the modern era, some people have argued that major defense contractors like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Bay Systems, General Dynamics, and Raytheon are examples of war profiteers. They point to the large profits that these companies have made in the post 9-11 era, as well as their political influence, as evidence of their profiteering. Whether or not these companies fit the definition of war profiteers is a matter of debate. However, there is no doubt that war can be a very lucrative business for some people. Here are some additional thoughts on war profiteering. War profiteering is often seen as a form of corruption, as it involves exploiting a situation of conflict and suffering for personal gain. War profiteering can also have a negative impact on the war effort, as it can lead to higher prices for goods and services, and can also discourage people from participating in the war effort. In some cases, war profiteering can even lead to the prolonging of wars, as the profiteers may have an interest in keeping the war going in order to continue making profits. It is important to note that not all businesses that make profits from war are war profiteers. For example, companies that provide essential goods and services to the warring parties, such as food, water, and medical supplies, are not typically considered to be war profiteers. However, companies that sell weapons or other goods that are used to harm civilians, or that engage in unethical or corrupt practices, are more likely to be considered war profiteers. Right. So you heard an example of what a war profiteer is. I'm going to show you some information now that we are being led down um, a path to war with uh, uh, Russia and um, a war in Ukraine and with now um, Israel. Um, so let me play you the video from uh, Janet Yellen actually literally mentioning that she's going to, that's what we can afford to do. This is, and this is on Sky News. Afford another war at this time. I, I think the answer is absolutely. Um, America can certainly afford to stand with Israel and to support Israel's military needs. And we also can and must support Ukraine in its struggle against Russia. And look, the American economy is doing extremely well. Um, Inflation has been high and it's been a concern to households. It's come down considerably. At the same time, we have about the strongest labor market we've seen in 50 years with. All lies, all deception. Right, let me go over to Greg Manorino's um, newsletter and he explains it much better than me, but I'm gonna read you what he said. Yep, um, Right, Yellen says we can afford to support two wars simultaneously. The Treasury, uh, Janet Yellen, said yesterday uh, uh, the US can afford uh, supporting two countries, Israel and Ukraine, uh, simultaneously. What she means is that the US cannot afford not to support two wars simultaneously, basically profiteering. These things are, and, and these things, and Yellen is the thing he goes on to say, <laughs> um, it's a joke clearly, um, well, he's calling it nothing, uh, cannot ever tell the truth. Well, they can't. Uh, war is the expansion of war, the preparation, the propagation of war is the business of the government or in the ca on this case the Federal Reserve who is the government. <sighs> but what is it she cannot tell you is the entire system is illiquid, it's running out of cash rapidly and a war, fear, terror, um, suffer pain is the mechanism by which they can pour liquidity into the system. They profit from war, basically. Also in his letter, he does go on to say, basically the groundwork is being set for the blame game and another ground, uh, grand deception, which I totally understand. We are being deceived on a massive level. Israel-Gaza conflict threatens to reawaken US inflation. Investors worry. They are setting up for another grand deception, a scapegoat. This is straight out of the playbook 
a blame game. Inflation has already outpaced every single projection made by the Federal Reserve and this new war, just as we have called it since the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war, is going to be used to twist minds of the unknowing public. What to know? Want to know a secret? Regardless of anything else, inflation is going much higher, but not now. This Federal Reserve is direct con collusion with uh, congression. congressional leaders have given themselves an out. Blame the war. And I played. You, I just showed you that um, that letter there where she says, "Yelling says that we can afford to support two wars." Okay, guys. Hope you like and uh, subscribe. Anyway, take care of yourself. Have a great day, and uh, yeah, look after yourself.